Hello everyone, this is Colin Sweeney and today we're going to show you how to install the High Performance AK Trigger by Sweeney Engineering into your rifle. The kit includes an action hold open safety, a trigger, a sear, and a hammer. All the components included in the kit must be installed together. Installing only the trigger without the safety lever, hammer, and sear may result in a malfunction or a safety that does not work. So always install all of the components in the kit. Needed to do the installation are two tools. A hook tool and a punch. The punch needs to be slightly smaller than the trigger and hammer pins. It would be very useful to have a retaining plate if your rifle does not already have one equipped. You will also need a little bit of lubricating gun oil for the installation. Before beginning the installation, verify that the rifle is unloaded. Remove the magazine if still installed and pull the action open and verify that there is no round chamber. You can now proceed with installation. The first part of installation is to disassemble the action. First remove the dust shield by depressing on the spring and lifting it off. The spring can be removed by pushing it forwards and then sliding it out. Remove the firing pin and action assembly here by sliding it backwards. And then relieve the tension on the hammer by pushing it down while pulling the trigger forward and slowly releasing the tension. Next, you're going to want to remove the safety lever. Do so by lifting it upwards and then pulling it out the side. If you have the original spring paper clip or uh, Shepherd's Crook style retain pin, it will probably pop loose when you do this. And can be pulled out. Next we're going to remove the trigger assembly. Take your hook tool and tuck the springs in front of the hammer. Be very careful when you're doing this because the springs are about as strong as a mouse trap and will bruise and cut fingers if they come loose. Once these are out of the way, take your punch and pushing on the right hand side of the rifle, push the trigger pin out the left hand side. If this is a newer rifle, this can be a bit of a tough pin to remove because it will be very stiff and may require considerable force to be removed. You can then lift the entire trigger and rasp assembly out. For, reinstall for reinstallation purposes, remove the sleeve and take the spring out of the rasp. This spring will be reused with the kit. To remove the hammer, take the punch and depress the uh, pin on the right hand side of the gun. This may take, especially with the new gun, may take some wiggling around to get it in the right spot where it will move. Once you have it loose, as shown, very carefully relieve the tension on the springs while holding the hammer in place. Once the spring tension has been removed, the pin can be pulled out the left hand side. The hammer can be removed by turning it sideways and lifting it out. You will also need to retain this, the spring on the hammer. To do so, pull it off one side at a time and slip it off the hammer. 
take the new hammer provided with the kit and slip it on in the same fashion. If you're not sure if you've got it going the right way, this loop of the spring should be seated in the accommodating groove on the hammer. Now you're going to reinstall the new hammer. To do so, you will need to put it in between this gap on the receiver. Hold the springs in one hand and the hammer in the other and gently press it into place. Then take your hammer pin and while depressing the hammer with one hand, place the hammer pin in through the left hand side of the receiver and drive it all the way home. You should see the hammer pin protruding slightly from the right hand side of the receiver when it's fully inserted. Then you need to take your hook tool and put the springs back on top of the hammer. It may be helpful to keep a finger on the hammer's pin to make sure it does not come loose while you're doing this. Now you're going to install the new trigger assembly. Take the provided sear, your old spring, and the new trigger. Place the spring in the sear's accommodating groove and the trigger's accommodating groove, like so. Place the assembly in the receiver and slide the trigger pin through the left hand side of the receiver. You will need to put a finger or two on the sear while you're pushing the trigger pin in place in order to get it through the assembly. Then push it clear to the far side of the receiver until it's seated. You, know, you will know the trigger pin is in the correct position if it is flush or even slightly protruding from the receiver, as shown. Now that you've got your trigger assembly installed, relieve the tension on the hammer springs. And install either your paperclip style retainer or your retaining plate if you have one. Then take your action hold open safety insert it in the right hand side of the receiver, put it through the retaining plate, and push it home. Now that you've got the trigger, hammer, and safety assemblies installed, you'll want to take your oil and put a little bit of oil on these shown locations. Work the surfaces back and forth a few times to work the oil into place. and then take a rag and wipe away the excess. Once lubricated, you can now finish the reassembly of the gun. Take the slide and place it in the accommodating grooves, pressing downwards and slide forwards. Turn the spring to its normal position and install the dust shield. At this point, you can now conduct a safety check.
using your punch, attempt to depress both the hammer and trigger pins. Neither pin should be able to be pushed through the right hand side of the receiver. If they do, your retaining plate or wire is not correctly installed and this is and needs and the rifle needs to be disassembled so this can be corrected. You also want to verify that the safety lever functions as intended. The safety lever should fully engage and disengage without difficulty. When engaged, the trigger when depressed should not release the hammer and be able to cause the gun to fire. With the safety disengaged, depressing the trigger should release the hammer and cause the gun to fire when loaded. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our website for other related products.